Hello, P6U here with another demo. This this time it's registered users demo. Oh, free hell, yes. Well, I have no idea what's on this. I've never played this disc. I've never seen the interface. Never seen anything about this. So it's gonna be total blank here, total blindness. But well, that's good. Oh wow, that's weird. <laughs> that must have been really old. Um, yeah. Wow. Oh, it's got the one with the sperms. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have Armored Core. Cool Boards 2. Crash Bandicoot 2. Formula 1, 97. Kurushi. Parappa the Rapper. Tomb Raider 2. Gran Turismo. Cooler World. Something called Powerline. That's weird. Powerline. Uh, this interface. Oh, PlayStation.com slash AU or PlayStationEurope.com. Well, yeah. You registered users disk. Uh, this has the sperms for the tile screen. What armored core was the first one? Wow, the controls strafe down, look up, move, quit, shoot, jump, hold to fly, power attack, select weapon, weapon. Cool, nice that they show the controls for a game in the beginning. That's what they should do. I don't know why they stopped doing that. Maybe because they were too they were too lazy. Maybe it was easy as that. They just ah screw it. They can figure it out. They're a little you know, bastards. <laughs> uh, you know, if you don't register your console, then you're not gonna know the cons the controls for the demos. Yeah, this is registered users demo, which you got by registering your console with Sony, I guess. Armored Core is a trademark of Sony Computer Entertainment, apparently. Well, I don't think so anymore. From Software. Then from... No, I, I don't know. Or was they that of a developer of Demon's Souls? Scenario mode, I guess. Load game? No. Why was that highlighted? Pilot name? Oh, hell yeah. Well, we're gonna go for the classic. Uh, we should be able to fit it in, right? Yeah, definitely. There we go. And. Confirm the register name? Yes. P6U. Raven's Nest. Alright. Mission. System. Mail. Ranking. Garage. Shop. Garage. Mission, I guess. Remove gun emplacement. Eliminate squatters. Remove gun emplacement. Requester. Murakumo Millennium. Advance OC upon success AC parts. We want you to destroy a chrome gun emplacement. The gun emplacement construction site is located in an ocean buffer zone just barely outside Murakumo territory. Our repeated warnings to halt construction have been completely ignored. Chrome offers only transparent excuses about maintaining security, but their intentions are clearly a preemptive military attack. We now have no choice but to use force. This time we have prepared an AC part as your pay. It is a prototype of the highest quality. We are counting on the Ravens. Theater of the operations, chrome gun emplacement. Enemy forces for guns plus defenses. Conditions for success. Destroy all guns. Except. Hell yeah. Launch sortie. 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 Sor okay. Sure. Whatever. Let's just get on with it. We've arrived at the combat area. We'll leave as soon as your AC is deployed. It's an AC like air conditioning. Wow, what the hell? System engaged. Wow. Yeah. Right. Uh, I just wanna. Right, I scrape. Yeah. Wow, what the hell happened to the camera? Do I have a health bar somewhere? I guess I must have it somewhere. Well, where is it? 
trying to do nothing. Well, the triangle changed your weapon, I see. Why is the camera so awkward? Good, I guess. Is it gonna let us try again or something? I pressed select there, I don't know if that was the cause of it. Um, probably was. Well, I'm not gonna try to master the demo, you know. This is all just. If I can't master it in for. Oh wow, please. Um, we call it sensitive. Cool board is two. I know how to play this game. Um, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. I know. Uh, but as I'm not gonna try to master the demo. I'm not just gonna try to you know give my first impression of it. If I be if I played a game before, obviously I'm gonna you know. Or probably succeed at it, you know. But I'm not gonna try again, try again, try again, try again to ma fully master it. Web systems. Yeah, web systems. I wonder if I can show the intro video. Cool no. Borders. Here we go. Wow, it just starts up. Wonder who we get to play as. Hopefully, it's Yagi, and not Jin. Of course, board park. No music on the level. Can I change the board? Only type 2 all round. Alpine. Hell no, not Alpine for this. I guess freestyle is the best option. Oh, I can change board here. Well, that's pretty use, you know, pointless, but I guess I go with that one. Can I change border? Yagi. Jin. Cindy, Erin, uh, for this, she has the best technique of these, no, Jaggy, go with all black this time, damn, it's pretty windy outside, actually, blowing like crazy, damn, it's not that cold, really, it's like, up on the Sierra right now, but still, Blowing like crazy. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're just gonna score some tricks in this, basically. It was a long time ago since I played board park. I don't know. I don't think this. You see the cool. I guess you, if you can't see the cool meter down in the right corner there. All right. Yeah. What? Let's try to grind. I don't remember how to. I'm uh, not like that. Um, <laughs> I don't want to speed up. I want to go slower. It's gonna. Okay. Okay. You see, it races to till it becomes bigger. Okay. Yeah. Eventually, it'll change color. Actually, I think it ranges from. Uh, red, green, blue, re no, red, yellow, blue, green, isn't it? Okay. Maybe it's the other way around, I don't remember. Like green is before the other ones. That pretty short time we had to All right. this. I doubt I'll make it. There is a half pipe at the end, I think. Oh no, what the hell happened now? Where, no, I know there's like some obstacles you can jump across on. 
somewhere. Is it right after this? Yeah, it's here. You jump on all these, you get some major cool points, I think. Let's see. Uh, green first, alright. Then I guess it's blue... Or is it yellow first? I don't remember. It doesn't matter, we're not gonna reach here anyways. Okay. Wow, what I could What the hell? Green. Alright. I think that ends right now. Just. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Should have put us in like a course or something. Sunset downhill, preferably. But, uh, Not too bad, I guess. Crash Panicker 2. I know how to play the game. I like that it said information on triangle. Basically, that's just how see how many lives or wumper fruits you have, or boxes. Oh, actually, also. That's right. They added boxes in this demo. Wow! I never played a Crash Bandicoot two demo for before. Uh, I never played a Crash one demo either. Wow! The controls are very slow. It seems like. Wow! It's a riding level for a demo. Wow. Uh, I didn't expect that, actually. Well, I guess I could have told by the music, you know, but... Still, I didn't expect a writing level for... To be part of the demo. Oh, I screwed that up. No, I don't, I don't have many tries for this, actually. Crap. I want to get all the... Oh, wow, he didn't ride around in a circle in the beginning. Doesn't he do that? Next? Oh, yeah. No, and now I missed that one instead. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, this demo feels very different from the full game. Uh, oh, wow. Control wise, it's very. It feels kind of sluggish, actually. What the hell? That's, that's very hard to. to time if you don't ride around in a circle in the beginning there. Oh, there we go. I guess that's why they implemented that. Um, feature that you you know spins around a little in the beginning so you can prepare yourself. I think that's why actually. And a lot of checkpoints back here. So I guess those who registered get to you know put in feedback you know with the demo. I guess that's what this demo was for actually. It might be. I have no idea. But there's a lot of checkpoints there's not this many checkpoints on this level in the full game. See, I've got like six checkpoints or something. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, it doesn't speed up? Oh, wow. Hmm. So this. I wanna. Just... It feels very slow compared to the full game. You know, when you... When he... You can't... When he jumps and lands from a high jump, he just stands there for a second. You see this? He just stops in his tracks. He doesn't continue running. Stops. That's, that's pretty annoying. I'm glad I removed that from the full game. Yeah, that was probably the Crash Bandicoot demo. Well, yeah, I guess it was. Alright. But there's a whole lot of other stuff on this, I think. Let me check the time. Alright, 14 minutes, not too bad. We have Formula 197. I really like that title screen. Steering, brake, accelerate. Perfect. It's three minutes, alright. It said so in the beginning. But yeah, as I said, I really like that, that title screen with the sperms. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sweet. Sony had pretty suggestive commercials back for the PS1, actually. You know, the commercial for the two, or not, you know, ads in magazines. You know, she always said she wanted a vibrator, and there's a picture of the Dual Shock. Uh, uh, pictures of controllers. One is single. Two controllers and it says coupled and then it's four controllers and it says orgy and that's an advert for the multi-tap. <laughs> Even the name multi-tap sounds kind of suggestive. 
Arcade mode, 97. Alright. Seems to cockpit you. I doesn't, didn't say in the beginning that you could, could change view, so I guess not. Well, you can. I guess I'm gonna go for this, like, Gran Turismo view. <laughs> if it isn't any actual cockpit view, then this will do. I have, this will suffice, I have to say. Oh, damn. Flying all over the place here. Time extended. What? Wow, it doesn't feel like there's any weight in the car at all. It just feels like it's a, I don't know, piece of paper darting across, you know, this course here. Doesn't actually feel that I'm on the course at all. I mean, it's kind of. As I said, it feels weightless. It's trying to add weight in the, you know, um, when you're steering, but it doesn't actually feel like it. The best thing I can describe it is weightless, but with a very weird control. Well, it, it only lasted for about three minutes. I'm gonna be in last place when that happens, so I don't care. How did I change camera? Oh, I guess. Oh, I see. Uh, L2 changes it, you know, towards this. Then R3 or R2 goes out again. Kinda annoying. Desperate last. <laughs> it usually happens with these racing games. Exception is total driving. I kicked ass on that game. At least I think so. Well, I got in first place, so I'm gonna be in last place on this. Oh, there was a. Hopefully, there was a demo for Gran Turismo on this, not just a video. Because I haven't played the first Gran Turismo in a very, very long time. I doubt that it was even during the 2000s, I think it was in the 90s I played Gran Turismo. Oh yeah, that's... La Black Rain. But yeah, as, as... well, ripping audio tracks, realistic engine sounds... Murray Walker and Martin Brundle. Car damage and collision, split screen mode... Fully separate Garcaning Grand Prix, totally different driving styles. Stats information based on official records. Personality, action, intelligence, editable... Editable drivers, full flag systems, high res, and 30 frames per second. New cheat modes. Wow, unique arcade progression. Oh yeah, mechanical failures. 22 drivers, all all 18 1997 championship circuits. circuits. <laughs> Play a full season or single race. All right, full season. That's gonna be take a while, I think. Especially if there's like 80 laps in every track, like in real life. Wow, it ends to this. So it's kind of reset by itself, I guess. You know, a small reset, I guess. Back to that piracy harms consumers and developers alike. If you expect this disc to be like pirated, then blah blah, hotline number or something. But I doubt this is a, you know, pirated disc. That would be very weird if it was. As it is a demo and I have it slipped for it and everything, all the numbers match up. Kurushi. Accelerate cubes, mark, activate or deactivate a square. Trigger advantage cube, exit. Oh no, is this gonna be a puzzle game?
Actually, before I before I started this, I decided I had a choice between uh, am I gonna do this or your demo 51, and then I thought like, oh no, your demo 51 has Dino Crisis and Metal Gear Solid special missions on it, and those make take some time actually. So I'm gonna save that one for later. Just now, I wanted to play something. I did not know what was on it, and I had no idea what was on this actually. One player, yes. Right. What? 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 The, what am I supposed to do here? What? 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 I don't get it. No. I seriously don't understand. Don't understand that at all. Let's. I, that I must try again. I must try that again. Zero. Maybe I should have read the rules. Crap. Oh crap, I don't want to try that again because it was too slow. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess I'm gonna record it separately sometime, maybe, and put it in the MISC. Or random games playlist, perhaps. For now, Parappa the Rapper. Follow the on screen prompts to rap in time. This is like the precursor to Guitar Hero, I guess. Kind of like Um Umjammer Lamb, I guess. I think Um Umjammer Lamb is like a sequel to Parappa the Rapper. I don't understand why Parappa is on PlayStation All-Stars, because he was only in one game. No, that's Guy again. No, I. This is not good. I'm doing pretty bad. Am I pressing too early or too late? I mean, it's the, um, it's kind of hard to see when you're supposed to press. I have no idea. Um, it's, I mean, if they oh, crap, they're focusing too much on the actual the thing that's going on in the game. They're not supposed to focusing enough on the actually the rhythm section. I think Tomb Raider two. Oh damn, we get to play this actually. Let's see here. Strafe, slow walk, flare, look, move. Inventory on start, okay. Fire weapon uh, with X roll circle. Draw with straw, right, I think. Like, that's kinda. That could work. <laughs> Let's see. Well, we'll see, I guess. 
both Tomb Raider 2, Crash 2 and Cool Borders 2 on the same demo. A lot of sequels. Tomb Raider 2 starring Lara Croft. Mm -hmm. Right. No, I didn't want to use that. I don't know. Let's see. I wanna. Wow. Actually, I never played any of the Tomb Raider games on, you know, those early ones on PlayStation. I played. I think the last one I played was Anniversary. And that was on PlayStation. It worked pretty good, I think. How do I grab? Can I, can I grab? Uh -huh. Should be able to, right? Right? Shouldn't I? I hear something that doesn't sound too good, though. How do I grab? No, 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 no. Okay, I grab now, but I don't know. Okay, there's a tiger down here. Wow. Am I shooting on it right now? Where did he come from? Oh. Right, he's locking onto it, I think. There it is. The little bastard can die. Um Oh crap, now it down in it. Whip it. I guess I killed it. Wasn't this where I came from? I think it was. Right. It's kind of hard to get used to these controls, you know, nowadays. I think those were, they were pretty decent back in the day, but you know, you're so used to modern games, so it's kind of hard to play these old ones. Uh, there are exceptions, of course, like Crash Bandicoot is a pretty good exception. That holds up pretty well in the controls. Uh, but this is just too jerky, I think. You know, you're like... Wow, how the hell did I do that? Okay. I think I'm supposed to jump over there, but... You know, you really want to adjust the controls with the right stick, but it is not possible. Oh, it's still flashing down in the water. Okay, uh, let's try this again, shall we? Just want to make that jump up here. See where I can go next. I think Kenna does a camera little with L1 if you hold it. That's good. Uh, we should be able to make it right. Just. No, we're gonna run into the wall there. No, crap. <laughs> she jumps. Oh, damn, she. <laughs> wow. Maybe she can jump up here. Almost. She jumps like five. I don't know, five feet in the air, I guess. <laughs> Get up, get up, get up. Get on your feet. Oh, wow, this is boring to watch, isn't it? If I don't make it now, I'm gonna end it. At least I killed one tiger, I guess. No! 
Oh, to four. Well, let, one more try. One more try. Thing is, when I reach that, this, look, there isn't gonna be anything there, I bet. What? No? No! What the hell gets... No? There we go. Oh, hell. She jump. What the hell? What the hell, what the hell, what the hell? Let's see, is there something back here? No. I guess not. I think I have to... Is there anything up there, actually? For me to get onto? I think it is. One more time. Uh. Wow. Um. Kind of hard to, uh, you know, see exactly how. I'm... No. Oh, screw it then. November 97, yeah. It's kind of hard to see exactly how you're, you know, supposed to angle yourself up for that jump. Kind of annoying. I'm too bad at that game. <laughs> but as I said, I'm not going to try to master the demo. Just going to show it. If possible, I'm going to beat it. Gran Turismo. Oh, just a video. But hey, it's Gran Turismo. It kicks ass. So yeah, I checked out video 50, uh, actually there wasn't any match par match content for the Final Fantasy video, the only thing that was matched was the LMA player manager. I'm gonna replace that audio. Real driving simulator, that's right. Grand Turismo, this is so classic game for the PlayStation 1, I think. Thing about it is, this is actual gameplay graphics, it looks this good actually. I mean, 100 licensed cars, yeah, Grand Turismo 5 was like 1000 licensed cars, but. I mean, for the time, this is pretty impressive. The wiper is just out of control. It wasn't a wiper. It looks like a wiper. No, it's a Honda. What the hell? Okay. Weird.
Hopefully I don't have to replace this audio. That would suck. I, uh, yeah, I spoke about, sp spoke about that in the beginning, you know, if audio had to replace uh, the LA LMA player manager music, not the Final Fantasy VIII one, I think. Um, but usually, I have no idea if this is true, but I think it might be if, you know, if the if there's a third party game, uh, this might be totally out of, you know, wrong, you know, but if there's a third party game on these videos, there's a risk of it being, you know, third party match content. But if it's owned by Sony, like Gran Turismo, it might not affect it. I have no idea if it does. But I guess we'll see. I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna put it up all my files. If it has all videos that has, you know, video footage from a game to see if anything is matched party before I put my commentary on top of it. Because I don't wanna have to do that, render the video a couple, you know, more than once because that's very unnecessary. Video. This is a pretty long video, and it shows a whole lot of gameplay actually, this is pretty good. And then Gran Turismo 2 came and blew this one out of the water. I mean, Grand Turismo 2 is like a very huge game for PS1. I think they added Rally to that one as well. You know, you can drive on dirt and stuff. I think all the tracks in the first one were like asphalt, tarmac stuff, you know. I don't know. Cooler World, uh, Power Line, and then we're done actually. I think this is a video also. Yeah. Kula World, I've played a demo of that before. I want to own this game so bad, but it's so rare and expensive also. Damn. I know it's available on PSN, but I'd rather have a physical copy. As well, future copies are also on PSN, but... I want to have future... Uh, I want to have physical copies. Are the pills hazards? Quite funny that, but that's their. This game was made by Swedes, and Kula is. It's pronounced Kula in Swedish. Kula, 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 and Kula means like it means basically, you know, ball, kind of. I don't really know why they, you know, decided to name it Kula World. But I know it's called Roll Away in uh, U.S. Coming soon. I think it was like a whole year after it was released actually. I don't know, it wasn't released in 98. At least it was in Europe I think. Because it's featured on... Isn't it featured on the Winter Releases 98 demo? I think it is. And if this demo came out in 97, well then it must have been delayed. Kind of, you know, huge delay on it. Powerline, let's see what this is then. It's a video, but I don't know of what. We'll see. I know what Powerline is, but I don't know what, you know, that's Powerline, but exactly what is it? Um, Australia, Austria, Belgium, and Denmark. Uh, Greece, Germany, France, Finland. Wow, it is just a hotline number you can call and, you know, get some PlayStation tips and hints and stuff, I think. Ireland, Italy, Netherlands, New Zealand. Um, 
Oh, there's Sweden. Let's uh, just... Uh, let's see here. Oh, it says 5 kroner samtal. That means like 5 Swedish crowns per call. <laughs> Customer service numbers only for PlayStation, hardware support, details of call, cost supply to power or something. Wow, they included that. Ooh. Wow, how thankful of them. How thoughtful. Alright, it's uh, almost 41 minutes. We'll end here uh, on this sperm tile screen, which is really cool, I think. That was the registered user demo. Pretty solid, I guess. It was decent enough. Uh, it looks like I'm. I'm uh, this was the only thing I failed miserably at. I'm gonna try it again some other time, but for now we're just gonna end here. It wasn't too bad. Nice with. I really like this tile screen with the sperms and everything. I would never have gotten that when I was younger. Um, yeah, pretty suggestive there, Sony. But yeah, this was uh, registered users demo. Oh, free. Uh, out I'll get any more registered users demo if I do it's gonna be quite some time I think but yeah I'm gonna put up some more Euro demos more misc PlayStation demos more random games more Alice more wipeout all just pure PlayStation awesomeness but for now P6U going offline